Hi back again we go So today we want to make that shit here. So we start directly at curve Bezier curve. Bring them in front. Rotate X ninety degrees. Scale down. Take the middle point, grab till the start point, middle point of the next segment, go here, E to extrude, bring it in the middle, and E to extrude again, to bring it down. Now we bring all these points, left point here, in fitting with the direction of the whole mesh. You see it bends here too much so we have to control it by here this point. Then it should float with the rest of that so we can control it here. Now we must look what is the result of that. So we take here our curve and say the depth should be that here. We bring it a little to the side and we see that's good. So we have one done, many left. We go here and make a copy, shift D. Then we convert to mesh. Now we see how many words it have, and that is overdone. Oh, we count to four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I think twelve is much. I would try to make it the half. So each second one I mark, I select, and uh, dissolve them. And then we look what we get for a result. I think that looks the same. And we have less with count. So X, dissolve edges. Okay, we see that it is not completely round here, and that makes this ship then ugly. Yeah, it is too much less. From far away, no problem. Well, when you go near, yeah, the word count is the problem by this. We have many of these pipes and stu uh, stuff there that can get fast too much. That's not easy. I take this 12 counted one. In a moment. We will see what we need later or what's too much. So we have that 12, 12 piece. But that here is too much. Control plus. X dissolve edges. Oops, what happens there? X dissolve edges. Oh, when you make it singular, then that works. Mystery. Nobody understands it, but we don't must know that. We only must know how we can handle that. Good. So we have a little bit less. <laughs> much too much, but okay. Who cares? Uh, we take here this loop, shift D, 
bring him there rotate y 90 degrees look from the front bring it to position they have all the same thickness so from that P to separate the selection now it is a single uh, mesh uh, we get this whole thing scale x0 to get absolutely straight line and then we position it from here extrude and bring it till there then we can take the same one shift D set the origin to geometry rotate Y 90 degrees and take it for that edit mode go down here shift D make another copy done good they need a smooth so add shade smooth here also and here so we have that we can make it longer if we want later that you see that um, we get the roundings here and we get that one and these little ones these little ones who make them with 12 that hurts me that is too much I think but here we can be a problem then but we see that okay we need here that line So add curve circle, rotate x 90 degrees, scale down, we need here strong angle, switch like that, and then a much depth, I will check it, is it the same thickness, yeah that fits. So um we converted it as a mesh two and we need that part here so with background selection root selection and box selection we delete here the left side and the top line so that is left that is our pipe to go there around so rotate x 90 degrees but i think it's now turned the wrong way is yes. so again rotate x 180 degrees and then it's correct now we bring it to fit with the wrist there and later we can um join that together and you know what i mean uh, set the region to JM3 and bring them here to the Y, grab Y. So we have that for the first, that is not the end. This is the end, my old friend. No, no, no. Don't understand that wrong. So we got that so we can go here to the middle that means we can take that out extrude and bring them out to the half of switch then we need the same bending but with a small uh, yeah, angle so add mesh curve circle scale down rotate x 90 degrees grabbing and scaling think that can be this bending by this size that is it 
we will see. So we make the depth. We have that. Then shift D, make a copy. Convert as mesh. Same as before. We delete the left side and the top line that is left. Rotate X minus 90 degrees. Yes. And then we can bring them to both sides. So to get that correctly, we get to your wireframe mode and grab it to position that is there. Uh, only the height we must know. There are three times, so can we t can take there a modifier later, an array modifier. So we take here this one and extrude that till the end, and on the other side till that end. So extrude and bring it to the Y. Good. We need three of them. So file save we take here modifier and array modifier um, we delete that here to zero go here to one but here we take minus two and get higher in the minus and give here the three counted one and that is it good we have that also That one we can make longer in the axis, normal axis. Well, well, well. I uh, think we must maybe apply before the rotation scale. Then it can make sense. We go here to medium point. And local normal. <laughs> we don't take it, but who cares? Then we make it manually. Good. So uh, then we get this one here. So add mesh cube, scale down, scale set the top one from them we need uh, three others so shift D make them a little bit smaller and take here the array modifier again that's the same here zero here a minus one or two or such and then we go deeper and take a three counted one. Then we need the side panels there. Mm -hmm. It's like Y. So we can take here one of them. Better from them. Shift D separate the selection. Here we delete the array because we don't need that. Set the origin to geometry. Um, rotate X 90 degrees uh, and bring that till that point. So C circle selection. Go back to global axis go to that point, then extra to that point, and scale that up, and then go down, extrude till the rest. That is the side panel. We can now rotate set 90 degrees, and bring it in position. Same on the other side then, but before we bring it here, 
side 3, side view. Shift D, place it there. 2, front view, up at 1, and position it correctly. Good. Then we need here a middle one, so Shift D, make a copy, disable this ones, rotate X 90, and now we can close the middle part. So edit mode, C circle selection, and bring it down. So we have now that while looking thing there. We need here a holder for the pipe, so we can take that one again, Shift D, delete the array, rotate X 90 degrees and bring them up to the middle of the pipe later. Good. So we have that, we must apply the array, then we need to bevel the whole stuff, so Control B, bevel that one and all the other stuff too. Control B. Here we can go a little bit more up. So C circle selection and bring it till there. Control B with all the other stuff too. Control B. So we have that also, so we can join that completely together. Um, add join. So we have that done also. File save as new version number twenty three in my case. Good. Then we can plug that all together. We must apply the array before join and it is one. So we can bring that down till our ship that we see them when we need them. That here we can delete, file, save. Good. Next one. Um, pull this here. <sighs> At the down part, they must be round. At the top part, too. So 12, uh, I hate it, it is too much, but what will you do? I make the cylinder with 12. Scale down. Then scale set. Then edit mode, uh, bring it in front. First, then edit mode, then extrude scale, and extrude once again, scale, extrude scale again, and then you have passed the word count that is horrible. Yeah, but this is the way it is. Um, I looked at the original ones, there is no bottom socket, so it's only fantasy of these guys there, so who cares, control B, make a bevel, the edges too, but with less, what count, so here we need another look for the shading, and then that should be it, Object, shade smooth. 
we need two colors. One is the yellow stuff. So yellow metal. And the second one, well, actually, we must retweak them later. Uh, we need here a new material, we call it steel. Uh, that should be for sure metal. And it should be rough, but not too rough. Yeah, such like that. Uh, okay, edit mode, control plus. And it was one too much, so control minus, and assign the steel. Control R, make another loop to the top to get the shading error away. And then we have that. And that one has then. 252 <laughs> words. That is the horror about that. And it isn't real round. Yeah. But that is it. File. Save. Good. Um, next one is this big folder. It's same like that in principle. So we can take that Shift D as a reference. Um, but we delete here the down edge and get that one. Bring the title that high and extrude scale and extrude down, extrude scale again. Extrude down. Extrude scale. Extrude down. And extrude. And scale. That's it. Control R, make here a loop. Normally you must make that with each one there. But then you have a word count that blasts all. So we only pull that a little and done. So the down one should be this yellow stuff there. So sign. But the top one in this case is metal too, so take that here and give them steel. So that's this big bumper there. Normally here comes some screws on the bottom that we can make also extra scale. And yeah, a little bit more and extra to get pretty down. So here then a bevel, control V and then we can bring there some screws on. Oh, I hate it when it looks so. I hate it, really. From the side you don't see it, but when you look from the top it looks ugly. When you look from far, it looks good. Yeah. What will you say? It is like it is. That should be a little bit shorter, I think, a fat one. Such like that. Grab that and bring it here. Okay. File. Save. Then, the next one. This mystery thing there. Add mesh cylinder 12. What is to last? I know. But what will you do? Scale set. Scale set again. Get the bevel on both sides, but the last bevel only 
something from the well. Good. Um, then we can take the inner part and extrude them down. Good. Then we need a plate there. So we get here plate. Mesh. Here, add mesh cube, scale down, scale set, bring it in position, lump it three, look from the side, position it in the middle, good. Then we need this outcoming spikes there or something. So, shift D, rotate Y at 90 degrees, bring it in front, bring it till the height, that's on the bottom, deeper than at the top, so we go here, and that one more there. Good. Normally we come now to the spinning tool, <laughs> I hate the spinning tool. But we try it again. Object apply rotation scale. Set the origin to the 3D cursor. Add in mode A to select all spin. We need only four. We need three hundred sixty degrees. Done. Good. This time without an absolutely crash. Control B, little bevel. Same with the plate, but only the top lines. Good. Then shades move on it. See the shading arrow. Control R, loop at the top. Control R loop on the back, and we have that. So we can now join that together as one. See here the shading arrow again. So we have here also Control R make a loop on the bottom there. Good. There should be a holder on it, and it should be yellow. So we type in here yellow stuff there. Wow, that looks really wild. So we go here, metallic, and make it to zero. Yeah, that's better. The rest we see later. Oh, that isn't joined. So we join that together. Yeah, okay. The holder we have on the door, if you remember. So we can take it from there. That one can delete also. The holder for here we can take from here. Take that one. Shield D. Get here to the moving P separate selection. Isn't it nice? Object set origin to JM3. Why there are two? I want only one. And we bring them to fit with that one. Nice, move and easy. Top view, number 7, grabbing, positioning, placing. Done. Join together as one. File, save. Good one. That one here should be yellow also, so we type in yellow here and give that metal there. Good. Uh, we have that. That here is yellow also. Yeah, we can give them yellow too. Yellow. Good. 
file save good next one um see that one's here So we take here at mesh cube scaled out. <coughs> oh, sorry, the old German like every you know that every time you scale set, then we want to bevel the edges. But for this, we need a bevel area top view. Control R, get the loops in to get that area there. So with that loops, you say bevel only in this area. Same we make in that direction, and then he can bevel only in these areas. So we have better control by beveling. So control B. Now you see we can only go to there and then make it. So then we want to bevel this whole top line there. So that once control B and you see don't want correctly. So we have two objects, uh, apply rotation scale, edit mode, select all, mesh, clean up, delete, loses, nothing, A to select all, mesh, clean up, merge by distance, 16 wrong words, yeah, now it should work the bubble I think, but nobody knows. That works. But with the last word count we want bevel only a little. So try it here down under also. Show B. Yes. And we bring that then in a smaller version down under. Here we need a shade smooth to Shading error, not that hard, so we can let that. Uh, shift D, scale down, and bring that down. Here we need no bevel, but it is good for the shading error, so we we'll let that. Then we take the wheel and the holder from the door and place them there. So we can join that together, give them white metal and bring them down there by grabbing, file, save, get here this wheel. Shift D, copy, P, separate the selection, get there the origin, grab it, position it, rotate X minus 90 degrees, top view, numpad 7, positioning, good, and the holder we need two times, so we can take that one. L to select, Shift D, make a copy, P, separate the selection, edit mode in object mode, object set origin to geometry, and place it over there, rotate X minus 90 degrees, top view number 7, and bring it to both sides then. So shift D again and place them on the other side too. Then we can join that all together. Object join. Good. File save. 
so we have done a lot of things so thanks for watching and we see us then in the next tutorial part thanks a lot for watching bye